hello guys welcome to this video so in this video i will basically tell you that how to develop a ffmpg video editor inside electron js which will be a simple desktop application and i have basically developed this application you will see that it has a renderer file and it's a main process as you know in electron js there are two global uh, two processes which is the actual main process which lives in the node.js code and this is the rendered process which lives on the html code so we have used html css and actually javascript to build this application so we have also bundled ffmpg right here in the gui itself so if you don't have ffmpg installed you can still use this application we have all the executables available inside the bin folder ffmpg ff play and ff probe so first of all the link is given guys you can directly purchase the full source code after you purchase the source code you will get a zip file from google drive you just need to extract the zip file to actually get this directory structure and the very first thing that you will do is that you will simply npm i so this will actually install all the modules which are present in the package.json file and then it will actually create a node modules folder you can see this node modules folder in the left hand side it will automatically create this folder and that's all so after you do this you just need to run this application by invoking this command which is npm run start so as you execute this command guys electron will start the application and you will basically see this is the actual interface of the application here you need to drag your video so whichever video you need to process you need to simply drag and drop so this is my video here i will simply drag and drop as you see as i drag and drop the video will play in the video player and uh, 7 minutes 30 second long video is this you can just full screen as well so the video player will play this is the actual title of the video it will load this information using the ff pro uh, library it will get all this information the path of the video name of the video you can even change that also and then we can set the start time and time save the screenshot if you want to get the thumbnail of the video you can at any location in the video you can click this button save screenshot it will take the screenshot of the video and save it as a png or jpg image you can even remo remove the sound in the video or you can change the resolution create a gif as well from this video and you can also change the F F P fps as well and by default it will use the gpu if you do have a, a built-in gpu i do have a gpu installed in my system so it will use that and it will increase the speed of the ffmpg command and then you can even play with the speed of the video you can change the speed of the video to half speed normal speed 2x faster 4x faster and then you can have a button right here to cut it so first of all guys i will show you the functionality if i play the video you will see the video will play so i can go to any location in the video you can see the video is playing right here so the very first thing i will show you basically let's suppose you want to cut the video from any location so i will basically first of all set the starting point so i want to set the starting point from 55 seconds so i want to cut from this location so i will simply click this button st set start time so basically as i click the button this time has been automatically recorded this is my start time and now i want to move to any location to set my end time so i want to trim the video between 55 second to one uh, i want to trim this portion which is five second so from 55 second to one minute i will now click this button set end time so it will basically record it will uh, trim for five seconds so the length of the video will be 5 seconds as you can see this is the end time I basically just uh, click the button as I just move in the video I just click this button and now you can basically cut this you will also see a progress bar as well so it will do the processing and after that it will tell you the location of the video it has created you will see my video has been created and it will automatically open the location after it process the video if I open the video you will see it will play for 5 seconds so my video has been successfully trimmed for 5 seconds you will see the length of the video is 5 seconds we have successfully trimmed that portion 
this is a really good application desktop application if you don't want to visit online websites to trim your videos you can directly use this GUI application which is built in, in Electron.js and you will get all the source code in the description after you purchase it you will get this FFmpg library as well if you don't have FFmpg installed I bundle this FFmpg directly in the application itself you will get this and now let me show you some more features of this application let's suppose you want to if you see basically this file has been saved uh, let's suppose you want to remove the sound as well so I basically selected this again let me select this location 3.43 second let me set the start time so it will calculate it in seconds so the value that you are seeing right here it is in seconds so basically 3 minute 43 minutes so we have actually converted that value into seconds so automatically it has been in seconds so now I will set the end time so I want to trim the portion this portion I set end time so the total length of the video will be 18 second you will see and now I want to also remove the sound of this portion so I just basically remove sound and uh, that's all so as I now do this it will trim that portion and also remove the sound as well so you will now get a new video basically it will now processing it so it will open the video after it done processing so just wait for the processing to finish so you can apply multiple filters at one time guys you can remove video sound as well you can also trim the video as well so you will see it has created that video and now you will basically see no sound will be present so no sound is there the video length is 17 second and no sound is there I turn my volume up you will see that but still no sound is playing so in this way you can even remove the sound as well from the video as well by checking this portion checking the checkbox right here and let's suppose you want to also create a gif GIF it's a special image you can even do that also let's suppose I select a starting location I don't want to remove the sound so I will simply okay I want to remove the sound as well so I will say I want to create a GIF from this starting location so 60 second and the ending uh, this I want to create, create a GIF for 5 seconds so set end time so this will be the length of the GIF right here so cut it so now it will trim that portion and convert that portion into a gif file which will not contain any sound so it is processing it so just wait for the processing to so it's nice to see this progress bar once it is there so you will basically see see the page will be wrote if you open the location you will basically see a gif file has been created if you see right here in this you can open that and basically you will see that this is actually a gif file which is there the extension you will see that gif G dot gif so it will loop through unlimited number of time so we are actually basically cut that portion for I think it's 12, 12, 12 seconds so you can do this as well uh, you can even change the resolution of the video as well by clicking this portion as well you can even change the video speed as well let's suppose 4x faster the video will play faster if you want to do this normal speed so all these filters you can apply and uh, so this is a complete app and now I will show you how I coded this app it's a very simple app to code you will see the speed of the video will be very faster how speedy the video is playing right here you will see that so 
you can do this processing and uh, now I will basically show you some of the code that I written. So this is the actual renderer file and this is the actual main process file. So main process file actually contain the actual code which is responsible for creating our electron app. So this is actually the boilerplate code which is common in every electron JS app. This is the actual main window that we see right here when we load the application and uh, we have binded this uh, app when the app is ready. We are basically creating a new window, new browser window, which is of uh, the width and height that we provided, which is 124, height is 600, title is simple cutter, and we have basically set node integration context isolation to true and false, which is there. And here we are loading this index.html file when we load the electron application, and we are loading it by the file protocol. And if you see, this is the file that we are using in the index.html so this file we are loading it and we are using a, a custom CSS for styling it for showing the progress bar we are using bootstrap animate CSS so all the CSS files are present in the CSS folder you will basically see that and you can see this is the actual interface where we drag and drop the video and uh, these are all the JavaScript code that is responsible so this is the actual main logic file renderer.js it contains all the functionality which is first function is combined video second function is uh, the load video function where we load the video and then this is a cut video if you want to trim the video so i will basically show you how i did this and in the package.json file, the modules that we are using, guys, is uh, we are using Fluent FFmpg, which is actually a library package in Node.js to actually make FFmpg far more easier. If you don't know more, more about it, you can just go to the documentation and search for this module, which is Fluent FFmpg. And you can play with this library which uh, allows you to process videos using FFmpg using this module so 3 lakh downloads are there you will see that so now I will basically show you guys what I did right here some of the code that I will show you if you are interested the link is given in the description you can directly purchase it So we have basically declared uh, some variables right here at the top for the current video and the bitrate and this is actually the function that we written so uh, let me just explain you I don't want to waste your time just want to explain you how I did this function the first function is the combined videos function so here the list of videos will be coming it has an argument. So first of all, we are requiring the file system module, which is a built-in module. And then we are actually calling the start loading function that we defined later on to actually load the videos. So then we are basically uh, simply in the build, build folder. So we have the resources folder in the, and inside that we have the folder called as FFmpg. And then inside that we have the bin folder and then we have the ffmpg executable so we are simply loading that and simply checking that if the file system exists if this file exists in that case if the file doesn't exist because we put not sign then simply set ffmpg bin ffmpg like this if the file does exist in that case we will require the fluent ffmpg for using this uh, fluent ffmpg guys you know do it do need to require ffmpg installed in your native system that's why i bundle all ffmpg native libraries in the app itself so if you don't have ffmpg installed you can still use this application and then we can simply set set ffmpg path to bin and uh, then the merged name calculate name we basically will be calculating the name which will be given by the user and then the command 
this will be a simple command guys to actually merge the so for merging different videos multiple videos we will first of all require the path module of node.js and dir name so dir name will be simply the path here which is videos path if you see here let me paste it cut this is actual path and after that here we will simply check that if this path doesn't exist then we need to create this file make the directory so this directory will be automatically created guys which is the cut directory in the root directory so if I basically process any video this directory will first of all get created automatically in the root directory and then after that it will automatically get deleted as well so after you do this we simply need to say output path out path we need to declare this variable and concatenate this merged name and then we will simply use a for loop and then we will loop through each video for each video what we will do we will simply get the path here by using f dot path and we will simply say that if command is nothing then we will simply say command is equal to ffmpg path else command input path so then we have various events which we can listen in fluent ffmpg you can read the documentation if any sort of error take place then we can simply console log message that an error occurred can call this to end loading function which will hide the progress bar and also we can chain these methods various events if the processing is done in that case this function will automatically execute and here we can simply show merging finished and here we can basically require the shell from the electron base library and then we can open the video in the folder show item in folder this is that function we will use and open the output path so what this line will do after merging after processing the video it will automatically open the location where the video is created so that the user can clearly see the video processed this function is responsible for that and then we can hide the progress bar by invoking this function and then we can simply here target our video to actually reset so HTML and here we can simply show a message to the user right in the template which is finished so this is basically here we are targeting it's by uh, ID name so what we have given so we have simply showing all these options merged name output path all these values so in this way guys I basically coded this application you can basically find all the source code in the description after that you will get a zip file which will actually contain all the source code first of all what we need to do you just need to npmi to actually install all the modules which are present in package.json it will then create a node.js node modules folder and then you need to start your application by running npm run start so this will start your electron app so here you can drag your drop your video whichever video you need to process and then you can do this so it's a fully fleshed video editor that i'm giving you the link is given and uh, thank you very much for watching this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video